Hey everyone. I wanted to record this video just to say hi and so you could see my face and we could have a little bit more interaction as this very strange semester gets started. Uh, I wanted to say that I have really enjoyed reading through uh, your action plans and your communities and I know some of you still feel lost or stuck and that's totally fine. Uh, I think the next couple weeks will help clarify that. Plus, in two weeks, we have our first team meetings, which I'm really excited for. I wanted to just talk through what we'll look at in module two, which remember is all of our modules are two weeks. Um, so you've got a little bit more time to engage and be thinking about what I want you to learn uh, and accomplish in each of the models. So module two focuses on defining the problem. So whenever we want to uh, create a solution, we have to know what the problem is. And sometimes we get really excited about our ideas for our solutions, uh, that we jump way ahead to the solution without really being clear and specific about what the problem is that we're trying to affect or improve or solve. So believe it or not, in order to come up with a really good solution, we have to be really clear on what the problem is. So we're going to going to talk about writing a problem statement, which is very short, at most a paragraph, uh, that really clarifies uh, the problem that your project is meant to address. So I have some tips in our module two document to get you um, thinking about how to write a problem statement. I included um, a sample from a website for uh, something that I did in 2018, so you can see an example of a problem statement. And of course, I would love for you to practice drafting one uh, during module two. Um, now I know you may not know what your project is going to be and that's perfect. You've probably at least had conversations or ideas about which problem you might want to address or what project you wanna complete, in which case you now have to kind of go backwards mentally a little bit and think about what is the problem I'm trying to address with this. And this is such a key part of planning. So I want us to really take our time with it, which is why we're actually going to look at this both in module two and in module three. So now in module two, you're just going to just practice writing a problem statement. Um, and it can be for a project you're not even sure you're going to do. Uh, if you're thinking about multiple projects, write a couple problem statements. It might actually help you um, distinguish between the different ideas and, and one may start to stand out to you as the one that might be more meaningful to you. Again, I want to iterate that the project does not have to be grand and uh, you know life altering. You will very likely have an impact on other people um, and don't discount the small impact, the small daily impacts that really add up and make a difference. So practice writing a problem statement. Um, get clear on who you want to partner with in the community um, and, and either get on their calendar or already have a conversation. Because so by the end of module three, you're going to want to have had enough conversations with them to get a clear idea of what the problem is and even what the potential solution may be. Uh, because you're going to draft a, a little bit lengthier problem statement uh, by for October 11th at the end of module three. So we're gonna to wanna to keep working on who is our community partner, can we be in conversation with them? At the end of module two on September 23rd, 24th and 25th, we'll have our team meetings, which I'm really excited about. Now these are called team meetings very intentionally. They're not meant to be classes. I am not going to be lecturing um, or teaching in a structured way. We're gonna be in there as a team sharing what we've been working on, where we're getting stuck, where we've had some wins, um, giving feedback, supporting each other, and ideally walking away with an idea of what to do next. So the team meetings will also inform your action plan, because you'll want to create another action plan by the end of module two as well, to plan your work for the next two weeks so that you can keep moving forward step by step. So that is the gist for module two. I am so excited to see you all in two weeks. As always, reach out on Quip, you know, add me, mention me, comment, send me an email, send me a text, whatever. Um, I'm here if you have questions and you want to kind of wrestle through some ideas, um, please reach out. All right. Thanks, everyone. See you soon.